Hi folks, the old fight here. A uh, little bit of an update video on what we've nicknamed the Womble. Uh, you need to be of a certain age to know what the Wombles were. Uh, but it's it's uh, running and riding. I'll turn the camera around so you can see it. And uh, go through a few bits we've done on it. And tell you what we're going to do about doing a video on how to do it. Around here. Here we go. There you go, one Womble. Um, I have ridden it. It rides really well actually. Uh, got to check the calibration on the speedo, but it doesn't seem too bad. Um, got my boxes on the back because the bike without luggage is absolutely useless. Um, right, yeah, exhaust air, stainless steel. No point going to the trouble of making exhaust and a mild steel because it rusts. Um, I've used just what's readily available, Ben's net you can weld up. I'm going to go through doing this on the next one a video on how we did it. And I know for those of you who don't have a TIG welder, could get it done you can build these sort of pipes up using jubilee clips to hold it all together and mark it and get someone to weld it up for you uh, so it's totally doable out of um you know readily available parts come around here it seemed to be at about 50 55 mile an hour the engine really settled down on the first run um all the vibes are gone They're really really nice uh single seat uh I've only done about four miles on it. I found that I've changed the gearing. I've gone up a 17 tooth on the front sprocket because we had lots and lots and lots of power at 50, 55. I'm thinking, and if I could get the uh, RPM down, uh, maybe be make better use of the power it generates. But there you go. It is there. Um, still waiting on the lovely people at the DVLA to uh, send us the paper back for the flying banana um but uh, yeah engine really good the one i got from double o racing they've certainly uh worked their magic on it and it seems very good i'll put a front stabilizer on here simply because there's only two bolts one there i can show you and the one down the back hold the engine in and it is very front heavy um so i thought i'd put something there to try and carry the weight it may not be necessary but i didn't feel comfortable not doing it but i could put an oil cooler there if i needed to We'll see where we go with that. And the other uh, little thing I want to get on today, and we're going to video this as well. I've, somebody's very kindly come forward and offered us some help um, stringing it all together so it looks like something. That is my 1983 VT500 Shadow, American import. Look, luggage. Um, 22,000 miles on it, runs the sweet as a nut, but they have a vacuum operated diaphragm fuel pump built into the tap. I put a new one on there. And it was leaking air onto the back cylinder, that's where it's driven from. So I put an ordinary tap back in it. Um, and it's gravity fed, which is great when it's full of fuel. But when it um, gets a bit low, she struggles a bit. So I'm going to put an electric fuel pump in. So I'm going to lift the seat off and uh, see if I can bury the fuel pump like they did. The later models did have an electric fuel pump. Um, but it is a lovely bike to ride. I've got forward controls on there. I'll put on there because my legs are pretty rubbish these days. Um, but I get on it like a horse, so I left the original pegs on, I swing the leg out like getting on a horse. And when I relacquered the tank, I left all the patina and that from where the original fuel cap had been leaking. So it uh, looks quite uh, quite good. So yeah, seat off and um, dive in, so we can find a fuel pump. i position to put this fuel pump wire in on the ignition. I'm going to try and video that, and hopefully the gents have offered some help putting the video together. Um, will make it make all make sense and when we do the flying banana i will video making the exhaust and all the bits so you, you guys can do it at home uh so that's it for now just a quick update anyway uh, i'll see you soon